Welcome to a bonus special edition Easter egg hunt. We're doing a special Easter egg edition just in time for, you know, when that creepy bunny is going to give you chocolate and jelly beans and grass. Yeah, everything makes sense. Let's tie some eggs. Let's eat some jelly beans and chocolate eggs. And this is all because of Jesus. Thanks, Jesus. Appreciate you. We're going to talk about some video game Easter eggs and some of my favorites. A few of it I've actually experienced growing up, playing games all the time because I had no friends. Let's start with a, a, a little, let's start with a fun one. So Dead Rising 1 is a zombie game filled with tons of references and all that crap. And it was made by Capcom. So if you go to the food court, you'll see a sandwich place that's referencing a joke from Resident Evil. It's called Jill Sandwiches. And it is referring to one of the amazingly atrocious dialogue lines from Resident Evil 1. Roll the clip. That was too close. You were almost a Jill sandwich. Because why not? Now, next one. This one is a little more obscure. And it also kind of makes sense after you've played through the game. It's technically a spoiler as well. You know, I don't believe in spoilers. Unless it's like something brand new. You know, what are the kids talking about? The Avengers and the Game of Thrones. That, that makes sense. Don't spoil that, don't be a prick. But anything other than that, it's like, who fucking cares? Fuck off. So if you take a look at this screen, you just see a bunch of chapter titles, right? Until you look at every first fucking letter. And what does it spell? It spells Nicole is dead. There's no way anyone noticed that until after they finished the game. There's no reason you look at something like that. But just a fun little, little. Diablo 2. So a rumor started in the first Diablo that there was a secret cow level if you walk up to one of the cows, then just fucking click it for a while. There is no cow level in the first one. In Diablo 2, they changed that. When you get the Haradra Cube in Act 2, if you put Wurt's Leg and a Scroll of Town Portal in it, you then go to the cow level. There are cows standing on their fucking hind legs with pole arms and axes and shit, and that's the cow level. Fun times. This one's a little more literal, but still appreciate it. Grand Theft Auto Vice City. If you go to the top of the VCN building, so there's a building next to you with windows. If you jump, there's a pedestal. On that pedestal is a chocolate egg that has Happy Easter written on it. Yep, I don't really know if this counts as much as an Easter egg. So in 1990, Nintendo held a contest. And then in that contest, they would randomly select a winner. That person would be in the next Zelda game. So... This person won, and this is what happened. <laughs> they got a room and a sign with their fucking name on it. Congratulations. Does anyone know Chris? Are you on Twitter? Can you add me? Can you can you tell me your disappointment of what actually happened? In Ocarina of Time, in Blue Moldy Potato of Time, when you are Young Link in Zelda's courtyard, if you peek in some of the windows, you actually see paintings of Mario. Yes, Mario. That's fun, right? Everybody loves paintings of Mario. Okay, next. Uncharted 3. Now what makes it better is, of course, they're referring to The Last of Us, but we know that now it just stayed an Easter egg. The Last of Us was supposed to be released sooner, and it didn't get released until 2013. Uh, Uncharted 3 was released in 2011. So we had a few years of, what does this newspaper mean? But only if you're that person that looks at every single thing in a room in a game. <sighs> I guess, good job, whoever you are. We're gonna say congrats, Chris, again. Zombies and my neighbors. You can either finish the game, which is a feat in itself, or you can enter a password, QSDZ, and it'll warp you to the credit level. So you're running around the LucasArts office saying hello and shooting them with water guns. Fun times. Dead Rising 2. Dead Rising 2 featured more outfits and all, more from the first one, and a better story. So one of the outfits you can change into has uh, like a brand name that seems unassuming, but if you flip Ijek backwards, what does that spell? Referring to Keji Inafune, the creator of Mega Man. I'm sorry if I butchered that. I don't know how to say that shit. Red Faction Gorilla in the Badlands Zone. You can find a man sitting on a chair, and if you kind of stand by him a little bit, he starts grumbling. He starts to grumble at how much easier your war is than his. He is Parker. He is the main character from the first Red Faction game. Just fun little details. Star Fox for Super Nintendo. This I actually experienced as a kid. This was fucking weird. This is actually a secret in a secret. Inside an already secret level, you shoot this specific asteroid and then a bird shoots out of it. And then you fly into that fucking bird and you get transported to a whole new secret secret level. 
and the boss of the secret level is a giant fucking slot machine and the whole time the game plays the saints go marching in it's kind of torturous honestly <laughs> you shoot the handle and it goes and you have to get triple seven you do that until you hit triple seven it could take 10 minutes it could take six days it happens when it happens and that's it. And after a while, that song really gets to you. Doom 2! If you're one of the few people that actually made it to the end of Doom 2 without cheating, perhaps. But of course, if you do cheat, there's a little bonus Easter egg for you. So in the giant last boss room where you have to shoot the rockets into the forehead little red spot of the demon statue, if you clip into that, you see a head on a stick. The head on a stick is actually two things. One, it's the hitbox for the final boss. So you have to go up the stupid pedestal and shoot the rockets and hit that, technically, hit that head on a stick. And the other thing is, it's actually the lead programmer's head put into Doom 2 on a stick in the final boss room. Great job, lead programmer John Romero. Just Cause 2, this one's a little more upbeat, I guess. No heads on a stick. Some obscure island in the top left-ish of the map. If you've ever seen the show Lost, you will see some references to that fucking show, because they kind of rebuilt the entire island-ish. It's, it's filled with references and specific locations, but don't worry, it does include the ending. My old-time personal favorites. Summoner, it was a slow-paced like action RPG on the PlayStation 2. Looked like ass, still play the shit out of it. But if you play the credits, after the credits was the characters from Summoner, and then Red Faction, because it was made by the same company, THQ. Do I see that happening? No, you're outside by the tavern. Will I get drunk? <sighs> Playing Dungeons and Dragons. One of my favorite lines of all time. I want to cast Magic Missile. I want to cast Magic Missile. So, yeah, it definitely doesn't hold up now, but it's still great. Roll the dice to see if I'm getting drunk. <sighs> yeah, you are. Are there any girls there? Yeah. They scripted our little D&D sesh. It's a classic. You always want to cast Magic Missile, and it's only 1d4 damage. Back to Zelda, Jorah's Mask. In the beginning of the game, you come across a mask salesman, and if you look at the back of him, you'll see a very familiar face, including a mustache, a giant nose, and a red hat. Wonder how much that mask is worth. Getting all freaks here. And you could take that mask to town. In this tale of trick or treat, have we opened the door of truth, or are we leaving you holding the bag? You're keeping those mummies under wraps. Is this story of the milk can that seems possessed the truth, or are we simply taking a lie and milking it for all it's worth? <sighs> Why is Freak so good? Well, that's that. Those are some of my favorite Easter eggs. A few I've encountered in my childhood times on accident. Or on purpose, I don't know. And I just want to say, thank you for watching. I don't know why you would. Appreciate you stopping by, spending the time. Follow me on Twitch if you want to watch me play some dumb shit. Come say hi. Go send some sloth emojis and some toilets. And I'll see you all soon.